Welcome back guys. I got my salt and straw shipment yesterday, so it should come as no surprise that they brought the fall flavors. Thanksgiving based flavors are pretty easy. You know, you got pecan pie, you got uh, sweet potato casserole, you got pumpkin pie. Those are all, you know, pretty safe flavors. But you guys know salt and straw. You've seen what they've done before. They don't really like safe. Sometimes they get a little crazy. And this month is no exception. Because all the sweet pies and stuff, that's easy to turn into ice cream. But tonight, we're gonna get a little weird. I'm gonna do a twofer, a double header, a little bit of each of these because inquiring minds, they wanna know. So we're gonna have, bear with me here, salt and straws, buttered mashed potatoes and gravy, and salted caramel Thanksgiving turkey. I'm as curious as you are. Let's start off like any good Thanksgiving meal should start with the turkey. Salted caramel Thanksgiving turkey is turkey fat caramel ice cream with pieces of buttery turkey skin candy brittle. All right, there goes nothing. Doesn't look too scary. The base is kind of like, that has like a smoky taste to it. I don't, want, I don't want to say like it tastes like turkey because it doesn't, but there's some definite smoky notes in there. It's not disgusting. Actually, the, the turkey pieces kind of taste like, uh, are kind of the same texture as um, toffee. That's what the, the pieces of turkey skin look like. Yes, that's turkey skin. Last month, I ate bugs. This month, I'm eating turkey skin. I'm not scared. Tastes pretty good. I really like this. It's like, it's basically like a caramel toffee flavor. Let's see that. Salt and straw is one for one. Let's go to the buttered mashed potatoes and gravy because I'm not so sure this one's gonna work. We will see. So basically what this is, <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. It's mashed potato ice cream with uh, Meat gravy swirls. All right, this is pretty clear cut. This tastes like mashed potatoes. I can even taste the butter. I'm not gonna say that I'm turned off. It's just interesting. Okay, we got some gravy here that l looks exactly like mashed potatoes and gravy. So I imagine it's gonna taste. Very similar. Hmm. A lot of gravy. It's it's a confusing sensation to taste a savory flavor profile that you're so familiar with. I mean, if you grew up in, <laughs> grew up in America, mashed potatoes and gravy. Obviously, you have it every year. But now you're tasting an ice cream form and it tastes the exact same almost, but it's cold and the texture is different. It's delicious, but weird. That about sums it up. It tastes good, it's delicious, but it's no other way to say it, it's weird. Now, it wouldn't be America if I didn't combine them. One of theirs, and one of this. That's it, America. So yeah, I really like the turkey. Mashed potatoes was okay. Uh, it, didn't disgust me like I expected it to. Um, both faithful recreations of Thanksgiving foods in ice cream form, which once again, salt and straw surprised me by pulling it off. Would I recommend this to anybody if salt and straw isn't local? I don't know about that. However, if you're in the area and you like some crazy food adventures, look these up because as disgusting as they may sound, take my word for it, they're pretty enjoyable. Thanks for watching.
See you guys next time where I'll be eating some normal ice cream. I hope.